Bill O'Reilly sat down with Howard Kurtz over the weekend. They had a long discussion, but there's two things I want to focus on. First, Bill is going to tell us how he views himself. Right, but you like to set up this sort of narrative that it's you versus the media elite, and I think you've become more accepted in recent years by the media. I disagree media. with you. you. Uh, if you look at the reviews for Killing Kennedy, the people who hate me reviewed me, not the movie, all right? And that's, that's still there. And if I ever fall, they'll be like jackals on my carcass. They hate me because I represent something that uh, is very feared in America. I made my success outside of the establishment. That's how I did it. Bill O'Reilly is anti-establishment. Bill O'Reilly is the establishment. There is nobody who is more pro-establishment than Bill O'Reilly. Listen, Bill O'Reilly is the one guy who went out there in, in 2008 when the market uh, went south and there was the Great Recession. He was the one conservative host who went out there and argued in favor of giving a blank check to Wall Street. Rush Limbaugh was against it. Sean Hannity was against it. All the guys were against it. And they actually, at least on this one issue, actually stayed true to their small government uh, ideology. Bill O'Reilly turned on a dime. He's like, no, the guys on Wall Street say they need our money and to buy more private jets and to give bonuses to the people that bankrupted their companies and to remodel their offices to the tune of millions while average Americans are struggling. But please give them a blank check. You have to do it. It's got, we got to save the economy by giving rich people more money. This dude, how many times have you heard Bill O'Reilly uh, give a story about corporate greed? about looking out for somebody in poverty. All he does is demean people in poverty. All he does is demean people in poverty and the middle class. This guy is gonna say he's anti-establishment? Dude, you represent the powerful and the rich. You represent Wall Street and financial institutions. You represent a, a hierarchy. You represent authoritarianism. You are the very definition of the establishment. God, it amazes me that he actually views himself as, you know, I'm the guy who's outside of the establishment. Uh, it blows my mind. Well, now these guys are going to get into the false 60 Minutes Benghazi report. Listen to this. I mentioned 60 Minutes, as you know, they just did an apology and a retraction for a story about Benghazi based on a contractor who it appears was not telling the truth about having been at the compound on the night of the attack. A lot of people saying, boy, that apology didn't get much attention on Fox News because it doesn't fit the conservative agenda uh, of pushing Benghazi as a big story. Fair uh, or unfair? I, you know, if the facts were altered by it, and we ha I hadn't, didn't report it big, I didn't pay much attention to it, um, maybe that's a valid criticism against Fox News. I don't run Fox News. I, I mean, I got my own problems with the factor. I, I, I look at it this way. But uh, every the big mistake by 60 Minutes, why didn't you do more of it? Why didn't I do more on what? The mistake... Because everybody makes them, and it doesn't really have anything to do with people's lives. The people's perception of Benghazi wasn't changed by Lara Logan's report. They brought in a guy who was a charlatan. He faked them out. He wanted to sell a book. He wanted money. Happens. Happens. I feel sorry for 60 Minutes. I think they're a noble enterprise. If I thought they weren't, I'd go after them. But I'll cut them some slack on the mistake. <laughs> You're going to cut them some slack for epically failing at their job. Their one job is to get reporting and information and facts correct. They failed at that. Their only job they failed at, and you're going to cut them some slack. Now, here's my question. Could you imagine if it was a mistake that instead of smearing President Barack Obama, it smeared President George W. Bush or a Republican instead? Would Bill O'Reilly have the same opinion? Would he say, well, cut them some slack. They just messed up a little bit and smeared... Uh, the Republican president? Or would Bill O'Reilly be on the war path against 60 Minutes saying, come out and apologize, fire people, hold them accountable, uh, hold them responsible? And in fact, we don't even need to speculate about this because there was a report, uh, who was it, Dan Rather or Tom Brokaw? I think it was Dan Rather who did a false report about George W. Bush um, uh, back during his administration. Fox News lost it. Fire everybody! Make heads roll! This is unacceptable! You failed at your only job and you didn't do it right. How, ca how dare you? How could you? Only when it's a smear job of Obama and they mess up, then they say, it's fine, whatever, just cut them some slack. No big deal. I mean, the hypocrisy is overwhelming.